I've been at American River ever since I've been in high school, and it's always been my home. So I, I really loved having the opportunity to do my nursing studies here. She said this is for the infusion. I wanted to go into nursing and I've been trying really hard to get into this field for a while because it can have just so much direct effect on a person. And that's what I like about nursing the most. And then I hung this back about an hour ago. It's definitely high stress, but I think that's what part of why I enjoy it. You know, within a few minutes you need to react and there's things that you need to do and if you don't do them right or if you don't do them on time, somebody's life can be lost. Okay, put your chin to your chest. Okay, and take a sip of water and take a swallow. swallow. My name is Lizette Nowicki and I'm a second semester med surge nursing instructor at American River College. Our program is a two-year program for semesters, and the first year they're learning their fundamentals about how to care for the patient, generally managing one or two patients. Their fourth semester, they're making that transition from the student to the registered RN. They also do a preceptorship during that time where they're taking a full load like a nurse does, certainly under the guidance of a nurse. There's a lot of hands-on work, a lot of clinical work where you're actually in the hospital, and a lot of lecture. First semester is kind of a combination of, of all those things. Hold on, we're gonna do it real careful, okay? okay. Try to pick it up at your, um, at your hip, okay? A big part of nursing is critical thinking. We try to just integrate that into our mindset because there's just so much different possibilities, so much things that can happen in a clinical setting, and you have to be prepared for everything. Today we were working on um, a lot of just assessing a patient, administering um, oral medications, administering intravenous medications. Um, you know, once we're in there we can do shots and urinary catheters and NG tubes and all of those things. Our students here come in the lab to practice on our simulators instead of doing things the first time on a patient. And so we give the students a scenario, usually ahead of time, and so they can look up what's going on with the patients, the medications, the lab, all of that, so that when they come in the simulation lab, they can take care of the patient and not be afraid to make mistakes. Morning, Mr. Chavez. Good morning. So how are you feeling, Mr. Chavez? I'm feeling okay. So um, do you have any pain right now? SimLab is one of the best ways that a student nurse can practice real hands-on work with the patient, both you know verbally and physiologically, because all the meds that we put into them are programmed to react the correct way that a human body would. We can do all these things without the risk of harming an actual patient. Well, with the mannequin itself, it has a lot of features that are great for the students, so they can listen to heart and lung sounds, normal ones as well as abnormal ones, so that's great for the students because because those are hard to learn and to listen to because your patients in the hospital don't always have those every week. His respirations are high at 22 and so is his pulse at 103. Well, I'm going to put some orders in the computer, get some stat labs, and we're going to start them on a heparin drip. Keep me posted. It just okay. puts you into the situation where you're the nurse and you have to think ahead, you have to order labs, you have to call the doctor, call the pharmacy. It's a great opportunity to practice that in sim lab because when time comes and I'm in the hospital, I'll be more comfortable doing that. And I'm giving you hydrocodone with acetaminophen. Will that make you feel better? I am currently working inside a hospital. Full shifts, eight hours is currently what we're doing with conference calls after and it is real hands-on experience, real people, you get to talk to them, hear their stories, connect, learn all the skills, and of course, have your professor with you and help you through. The instructors are really great here at American River. They're always on top of things. They're always looking for knowledge deficits in the students. And that's really great because, you know, yes, they kind of poke holes at you to try to see what you don't know, but then you come out of there more knowledgeable and smarter than you came in. She can rescue you from any situation or just poke you a little into the right direction. And that is very, very helpful. 
The work that our students get when they graduate varies. Right now, Sacramento is a little impacted with quite a few nursing schools here, so it is competitive to find a job. The students ideally will be in an acute care setting, most of the time on a medical surgical unit, and so they usually want to try to get into a new graduate program that helps them with that transition from student to graduate nurse. Nursing is an incredible field to go into, especially for the people who are people people, <laughs> because you get to work with people people at, you know, at their worst points in their life and just kind of give life to people with our words and our actions and uh, it just gives me goosebumps to think that I might be able to do that one day.